So, but we were not happy with that, since, uh, for instance, this inhibitor, which is called Vobic, it's uh, not, I mean, th there is not so much possibility that will enter in the clinic because it has a problem of stability, and the other compounds, it's uh, now a uh, property of Roche uh, Pharmaceutics. So we said, uh, since pharmaceutical company, they've never tried to check if compounds are senescence compounds, why don't we do a f big uh, screening for compounds which can activate this senescence response? Uh, this was very well taken from ERC, and did I got this uh, ERC like uh, almost six months ago. And after a very long evaluation, I'm very proud to have got it and uh, on this idea. So what we are doing is to do a screening, which is a, a very uh, robotic screening of compounds, which are small molecule inhibitor uh, in uh, our assay, which is called PIX assay that we patent together uh, with uh, Pure Power. So why we want to do this? Uh, not because we are not a pharmaceutical company, we are an institute, and uh, we want to do this because since it's a, uh, we will use a chemogenomic approach, which is very cool, I'm trying to show you in a little bit, using a small molecule inhibitor of selective genes, we will have the possibility first to find the new gene, so in other words, if I increase the senescence, uh, perhaps I found a gene also that is relevant for senescence. In the other, in a, in the other case, I can also develop drug, uh, identify new compound. Uh, this is the cascade of screen which is very complex, which is based on the in vitro screening after an additional validation in gene expression profile and uh, validation uh, in, uh, in the mouse model and even in phase one, two clinical trial. So we asked to do that, a collaboration with a company, which is the biggest company here in Italy, having uh, almost 90,000 compounds uh, that are a specific inhibitor of gene. So we were interested to, uh, to, to, to this specific type of library. Of course, we didn't have a library with, in, in, our, in, in our institute. So what's the chemogenomic approach? I didn't know, it's very cool. In other words, there are people with this software go to check all the genes that are relevant for senescence, so gen X, Y, Y, and after they try to compare with this information with their, their library, in other words, they can pre-screen just all the compounds which are inhibitor of that specific gene or putative inhibitor of that specific gene. So in doing this approach, we will not screen 90,000 compounds, but we will screen 5,000 compounds. So this is just the approach that we are taking, knowing this gene, for instance, we can know the upregulate, the gene that are upstream or downstream this gene, and perhaps the company has compounds which block these, compounds which block this, 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 and go to check if uh, these are effective in drying uh, senescence. So what we also do is, of course, to do gene expression profile of tumor, which are the so-called uh, uh, senescent tumor already, because as I showed you at the beginning, if I remove P10, even in the nature, I will have a tumor which is benign with a lot of senescence information, and the tumor which have escaped uh, this senescence uh, uh, state. So this is a normal prostate. This is a prostate which has a benign tumor. I mean, there are like seven, eight prostate pull all together. And this is the same with the P10 null, P53 null tumor. Doing like that, with our surprise, we already discovered that uh, the difference between a senescent tumor and a tumor which is very, very aggressive, it's relying in a limited data number of genes. When you try to cluster this gene according to the specific pathway, this looks very complex, but the content is very simple. In other words, this is a gene, a group of genes that behave like that. It's in normal, in normal process, it's very high. On the content, it's, it's, do, it's down in p but it's also down in p p53. So it means that these genes are not relevant to explain the senescence response which happen all in this tumor. So what we focus in this group of genes, for instance, which are completely different from one to the other genotype, but to try to compare the, our small molecule with this target. And doing like that, we, we are now uh, having um, a lot of pathways that come out uh, that uh, we are specifically targeting in, uh, in, in vivo in our uh, mouse model. And so now we come to special, so why uh, if I do something so uh, complex with the small molecule, we are interested in a project uh, uh, that uh, uh, involves uh, like a lot of marine biologists, because I didn't know, and uh, I mean at that time, uh, they, uh, all these uh, fantastic scientists explained to me that spongy can have uh, a lot of uh, um, uh, putative uh, 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 compounds uh, which can be used for cancer cell. And this is what we are doing for the special project. Essentially, we are collaborating with the group uh, Miha Hinan uh, from uh, Israel, with the other, uh, especially, specifically with this group, and also with other group. And we are screening whether this extract in our assay, of course, in this case, we don't know the, uh, the, the genetic um, regulation of this extra, can uh, by chance increase this senescence response. Doing by this, we, have, we end up to discover that some of these extracts coming from spongy can 
even differentially regulated this senescence response. In other words, they are active more in cells which have lost P10 and on the contrary, not in cells which are normal P10. So we think that there are specific activities that we want to identify and uh, we may found that there are some compounds that are pro-senescence in this type of uh, scenario. What we also do in the lab, of course, is that we want to validate whether these uh, compounds or extra, let's say, are important uh, and are able to block uh, stem cell. We are one of the first lab here in Europe that is able to uh, culture uh, the prostate cancer stem cell from uh, a transgenic mouse, so mouse which uh, have tumor that have like a specific genetic mutation, what we do is to uh, extract this tumor to take out this cell, which has Chi1 positive CD, so very, very complex. We sort it and we do a three-dimensional assay in which we obtain essentially this type of, of cell here, which are stem cells, in which we are testing if these small molecules that come from the screening are able to block this specific, uh, uh, this specific uh, um, gene. And this is something very cool, so we just did the, the HNEs and immunosuccumbent of this type of, of uh, spheroid coming from primary tumors, okay, not from, from a tumor which have accumulated several mutations, and you can see that it's even possible to study the, like, uh, conven in, in a conventional way, like immunostochemistry, and this is for instance immunostochemistry for P63, which is a marker of basal stem stem cell. So at the end what we want to do, of course, to try to uh, develop this novel therapeutic approach in preclinical trial using again our P10 null mouse model, P10 null, P53 null mouse, mouse model now in Switzerland. We have a lot of different uh, genetic background that include also additional genes such as P10 RAS mutant mice, P10 STAT mutant mice. So we are generating a lot and we are doing a big preclinical core facility. So but of course this approach is beautiful and we even published this review in Nature Review of Cancer into like two months ago, uh, I think, and it's very, very promising, but uh, if this approach failed to go to the clinic, uh, we have lost our time, uh, a lot of money, even from the European Union. So what we propose, I mean, this is the target of specific compounds that are entering in the uh, clinical, in a clinical trial, as, as you can see, this is the compound that Roche bought, is this natlin 3 so the MDM2 inhibitor, and they are now in phase one, is long catering cancer issue, but there are additional drugs uh, that uh, are under, under development. This is our P10 inhibitor that is still in a preclinical phase or the MIC inhibitors that we also, we also have. So we have so, to move process and therapy for cancer to the clinic. And uh, what I'm trying to do in collaboration with the Swiss institution and with SAC, which is a cooperative uh, group for develop for developing uh, the do trial uh, in, uh, in a human, is to try to check whether, uh, of course, this inhibitor, which uh, is a Roche inhibitor, it's able to drive senescence in human patients. Uh, to do that, we are struggling with the, uh, the ethical committee because what we are doing, we are sampling uh, patient before the starting of the treatment and also after the treatment. So as you know, prostate cancer can be cured by a surgery. We just say to the patient, please do for one month this treatment. After we take out the tumor and we evaluate uh, the difference between the previous biopsy with, with, the, with the other biopsy. Why this is important? Because although we show that senescence happen in vivo in mouse, we still don't know if this can happen in human as a consequence of specific treatment which targets specific specific uh, gene. And we are currently doing this trial. So of course I want to thank all the uh, lab. This is uh, the Institute of Oncology Research that uh, was previously named uh, YOSI. YOSI is a clinical facility and this is uh, the, the new institute which is uh, uh, located in Bellizona, Switzerland. And I thank all the people of the lab. It was uh, of, the, of my lab, like Alberto, Abdullah, Lajadi, Jin Jin Chan. So there are all different uh, people from different nationality, and uh, of course, uh, I don't have 300 people, or 100 people as a Rui Ray, uh, but uh, I can recruit. Thanks God. So uh, we are looking actually for PhD student, postdoc. If someone wants to come, it's uh, welcome. The salary are good. The facility also, and we thank, of course, uh, but of course not for 100, but just for two <laughs> addition. So the, um, uh, we thank all the uh, collaborators of the uh, Siena Biotech and uh, the other lab, and also the international collaborator. First, uh, Pier Paolo at uh, Harvard Medical School and uh, Christiana, Jane Wang Zhang, uh, always a uh, fast center for system biology, people in Spain. And these are, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, the, the grant that I got. Actually, I was very lucky this year 
and I tell you now a story, a little bit, which can be funny. So I got the ERC, which is a big amount of money, and uh, it's almost 2 million euros. Uh, an additional grant, which is a Marie Curie, and a Swiss Bridge Award, which is a very prestigious award, I didn't know. Uh, it's a Swiss institution, and even an FNSF, which is a national Swiss institute. So we have a lot of money, now we have to do really uh, a lot. But why I want to tell you this? Because actually, one year ago, I was without job. So coming back from the uh, United States, from the biggest lab in the world, having, I think, six nature paper, two cell paper, <laughs> one nature genetics as first author, very important discovery. I went to Rome, and uh, I even had a grant, uh, and Rui Ray was explaining that their politicians are crazy. I think our politicians are even more crazy. So I went to Rome, I said, look, I have a grant. I have 500,000 euros, give me a position, and I pay, as the Americans do, uh, the salary to, to the people. And if you want, you give me a title, or you just give me a position. It was so complex to them to let them understand the simple thing that at the end, I decide after six months to go to Switzerland. And what's happened after six months, that I got two million, another million, another million. So with this money, we could have help 15 or 20 families in Italy in research, and they didn't understand this. And I left, and the Swiss people, that are very clever, understood. So we hope that in the future this will not happen to anybody, but since the hope is just an hope, right? You have to be always independent in your career, you have to think that this job is like making money and giving money to other people, okay? And uh, of course, if you make money, the difference with the bank is that you cannot take it for yourself, but you have to give to the other people. So now I'm supporting six families, and I hope we will support more, 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 which is a big responsibility for me, and also for the people that have to come and to work with me. Thank you very much. Uh,